Now that we've made our amortization table and calculated the total paid, we can answer the third part of the question about how much she would save by making the extra payment in month five. Notice that she's paid $790 for a loan for $700. So by simply subtracting, we can see that that extra $90 that she's paid is interest. We need to make a note of that off to the side because when we update the table, that $790 down at the bottom is going to, to change. The beauty of using Excel for this is that we can simply change the payment there in month five and everything will update for us. So if we add $200 to that payment, we see everything else update to go along with that. Scrolling down, we see a bunch of nonsense at the bottom. It looks like she pays it off in month 17, having overpaid by $3.61. This 990 down at the bottom doesn't mean anything to us because she's not really going to keep paying in months 18 to 24 after the loan is paid off. So let's highlight all of these numbers below when she's paid off the loan and press the delete key to get rid of them. Now we simply need to update that final payment so that it works out to zero, kind of like how we took care of the rounding error when we were making the original amortization table. She had overpaid by $3.61. We subtract $3.61 from the final payment, and then it works out to zero and we can see that 756 is the total that she's paid by going this route. So now it's only $56 in interest that she's paid, and comparing the 90 and the 56, we see that she saves $34 by making that extra payment in month 5. $34 may not seem like a lot, but that's more than one month's payment. She pays off the loan seven months early, and she saves over a third of the interest on the loan. So in the grand scheme of things, that may just be worthwhile depending on her budget.